height. Um, what? Orewa it it by sagatta. Hippo. Sagatta. Nebri ga ore o chiro chiro to miru. Kozo. Asa me asa meshi wa do So asa meshi is a word for breakfast, but this kanji right here is never ever read as meshi. It has three readings. One is ta, different one is ku, and what is the married reading? Hi. Uh, so this is chōsoku. Hi, chōsoku. Chōsoku wa dou tsuru no ka ki ni natte shikanai, shikata nai no de aro. I step back. I take one step back. Nebri ga ore o chiro chiro to miru. Nobody stare, uh, he stares fixedly at me. Uh, boy, uh, Josoku wa do tsuru no ka? Ki ni natte shika nai no de aro? You can't, it, it's, isn't um you must you must have been you must have thought about nothing but uh breakfast what to do about breakfast hey you're really curious about there's nothing you can do except for thinking about what you want for breakfast hi uh totemo benetto to machie Ite koi. Benetto ga hitsuyo na mono o kao kara. Hakobu no o te hitsuyo no no da. So, right, this is te, and this does have two, but you've forgotten one more hiragana character. Sutao. Yeah. Stop. 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 Um. And then, uh, so it say that uh, it's it says that um. Um. Mm, totemo. Uh, um, totemo. Uh, totemo. Totemo. Even so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do see where you got that. You're right, because malt can mean even. Um, it's like even take for totemo. Um, but totemo means a lot. Um, has totally different kanji. Totte is not te form; it's its own thing. So it's like a even saying like more, like a lot, right? Like a stressor for totte. Even so, more. So mm, totemo means yeah, extremely. I really like it, right? Tote means um, very. Um, it is not tote for handle or tote for knob or any of these other totes, not tote to take or anything like that. It is tote, this first guy right here, which is a adverb that means extremely. Yes, extremely. extremely. All right, so yes, extremely. Ne Benetto. Machie itekoi. Go with Bennett to the town and come back. Benetto ga hitsuyo na mono o kao kara. After Bennett buys some necessary things. Hakobu, hakobu no o te tatsu uno. You said te sutao. Ta, sutao. Yep. Te, Hi. So Te kara, kara no, is no very hard because you have to pay attention to what goes before it because there are two karas in Japanese. Um, 
What is going before this kata? Is it a sentence, a noun? What is what's going before this sen this kata? This is a verb. You're right. It is a verb. So this oh. verb is in dictionary form. Hi. What does that tell us? Is this it's in the sentence? Yes, it's the end of the sentence. Perfect. End of the clause. So what does kata mean when it's at the end of the clause? The end of the clause, it means... It means because. It does mean because. So because Bnet has some important, th impor important things to buy, you should go help him carry it, basically. To help with the carrying of it. I, because Bennett need to buy some important things, go and help him. Give him a hand to carry them. I yes, I understand. Because there are no food at the uh Yatsuragi Palace. Um as asame shi mo mada te koto ka. Um, breakfast is not yet ready. Hi, te koto ka. What is that telling it, us? It's it, he he said ka ka. ka he's saying that um, it, it 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 seems that breakfast is not ready or kind it, of. Right? There's he not like a, the ka is here for here. like a vagueness for it, like a random vagueness marker here. Um, it's but the koto part, what does that mean here? The koto here, it, it, here is te koto, so to you koto. Right. He he defining this whole category. Yeah, what category? As being breakfast, not really. Not yet. Yeah. So what is he what is he def, what, what is he defining as brec defining as breakfast is not ready contextually uh taberu mm, not really taberu he's not translating his own sentence he's translating someone else's sentence in this context um not what i just circled but that's worth something else it is this Benetto to machie ite koi. Benetto ga chichio na mono o kao kara hakobu o tsu te te tsu tsutao no da. Should be, is it da? It is da, I'm sorry. I was like, why is tao so hard to say? Tsudao. It is a D. That is like a weird red daku going on. I see here, Mati. So what is he doing? We we mentioned. So he, we mentioned earlier that this no acts as a normalizing no. Yeah. Or right, one of its function is a normalizing no. That's how it's taught. But here it, it acts as... But here when it's at the very end of this clause, so it, it comes... There's a no at the end of Tatsu. Tats, tats, oh, you're right. Sutao, There's a no Sutao. right there. Hi. So this no at the end of a clause acts as a a form of koto in a way, but is a it, is it's a koto more like a form of kata, kata so I would an, argue than koto. It's it's a it denotes a logic basically, like a thought processes. So this is the logical conclusion from the previous line. Nobody said which was um. Um, so these two things should be connected because of the no here. Um, it's it's showing a logical conclusion normally. So this is a conclusion. This is what you should do if you have can't help yourself but just obsess over what you're going to have for breakfast. Then you should go to the city with Bennett and help him carry some things. 
as you can see, these two actions are Money, not have you ever all, came across yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's that delay in the internet. I didn't want me to cut you <laughs> off. Um, sorry, go ahead. No, I want to know what you're saying. My one can wait because I still have the context for that. Well, I came across, I think I came across something a while back that the way they explained to me was that there's no it doesn't matter in, in whatever situation it's in, it's behave exactly the same. Yeah. In different contexts, but it it basically does the same thing every time. And that it's it basically it it's a container for everything that comes before it. So for example, this Hakobu goes into that no. And then that no continues on as a sort of like a pronoun. It contains whatever that comes before it. So if a null then came at the very end of a clause, it's basically it takes the entire clause and then reference that into itself. So from then on, this null dot, this dot now referring to this null at the very end, which which is the entire sentence, the entire clause. Yeah. That's that's how I, they explain it to me, but I- I'm not saying that, it's, that, it's that is they, they a correct way to think about it, functions. but I don't think that logic is going to help you much. That's not how we talk in English. But yeah, it, it makes it into a statement, right? Is blank, right? It's a way it's 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 a pronoun that we're taking this whole thing to describe the noun no. Same with the no over here, hakobu no, right? So when you're first originally taught this no, you're just taught it's an analyzer because that is complicated. Most likely it is not an analyzer and it's just a pronoun. So you got the pronoun here and the pronoun again, but this pronoun is referring to, like you said, the whole sentence. That does make logical logical um but that would be a very hard grammar point to remember because we don't really do that in English. So it's much more complicated versus this one is a little bit easier to do with the pronoun. We do do the pronoun here in English with it, right? Help carry it, right? I had the word it in English as our pronoun of fillerness. So help with it, with carrying it. Um, so that one right there would still be easy enough to right. trade, learn, then this noda is just saying it is, right? It is the act of helping carrying it because Bennett has something to, uh, important things to buy. You see how in English that doesn't really make sense if you directly translate that. So it, it, it but the logic behind it is sound. It does make sense when you go deeper into it and you have a more Japanese mindset to that, but I don't think it works for English versus saying it's just logic because a statement is logic, right? It is the sun. That is a statement. It is a logical thing to say normally. That That's kind of what's used for. It's basically a way to turn the whole sentence into a statement. And it's normally used in Japanese to not make an aggressive statement, which is what you might think that might mean from the definition you give, it's used to show that you are thinking, right? It has a human quality to it, is what this does to a lot of things. And in this specific context, it is here specifically saying, if you, if this fact of the previous sentence is true, then this is also true. It is a extremely, extremely weak kata. When we say no de, which we've seen sometimes in here, that goes in the middle of the sentence, that is this no right here and this da right here, but the da is in te form, no de. That's another thing you're not normally taught in class. You're taught them as separate grammar points, but it's the exact same thing. You're just saying, this is a statement, so the next line, right? Like, watashi wa onaka tsuita no de, um, tabemono wo tabetai, right? I am hungry. This is a statement. I want to eat. But saying so makes more sense. I'm hungry, so I want to eat. Because that's how we would say it in English. And we don't have a kata here because it's not an aggressive statement. It is light. I, well, um, the, I, I think the reason this 
this particular uh, thought came up for me was because of this koto. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that this koto is now referring to the previous pronoun. Yes. It is, it's pronoun I'm not really here. the pre I guess it is referring to the previous pronoun. You're correct. Um, but, but specifically it's ref is... it's referring, I would say, to this whole thing that um Bennett did, but it's why the previous pronoun was a statement. Like there there should be a the koto, right? You already know koto is a pronoun. We've used it many times. It means in general, right? In general. It is a generalizer pronoun that either takes a noun and makes it more generalizing of itself, or it goes at the end of a verb to just do a generalizer of something. So a lot of times koto will act as a pronoun for like a sentence, because a sentence contains lots of things. So it's a pluralizer pronoun versus a single pronoun like no. Like this is one thing that is a pronoun, which is in itself just the one sentence. Um, versus no, which is not, I mean, no is the single and koto is a pluralizer for a pronoun, which we don't have in English really. And to some extent, we might say um, they maybe, they might be our pluralizer. Those things, things at an S um, might be a way to do it. But yes, the koto here is referring to that. Um, there, you have to, keep the context for it to make sense, right? So you're you're right. defining a general unstated thing as it means there is no food in Yasuragite, so breakfast is not ready. The general thing we were defining is what the heck does this mean? Why is it, nobody said, are you hungry boy? And boy nods his head or whatever. Normally, the the conclusion you have next would be, well, let's go get some food, right? That's how a conversation works. You get the, you bring, you broke the topic. The topic has been decided, and now we're going to do something about that topic, right? Like if you ask a dog, do you get to go to the bathroom? Logically, you're going to say, right. well, the door's open. Go to the bathroom. But instead, you wouldn't say, well, it's raining outside, so maybe instead you should go upstairs. <laughs> really convoluted. So you would say, "Oh, mommy's telling me I can't go to the bathroom outside, so I have to go to the bathroom <laughs> up on the puppy pepper, puppy pad upstairs or something, right?" That'd be like what you're translating the statement into the embedded meaning of the sentence. So this right here is that thing, like you said, the pronouning ifying some previous thing. This is just a pronoun for. Statement. I, I agree with that. That makes logical sense and does help a lot with the grammar. It makes no make more sense. That's like a grammar point. Um, and koto is just doing what it always does. Um, but yeah. So you are correct in that from wherever you heard that. But I'm not sure if it would actually help you for translating things. Hmm. But it, it just because it doesn't I see, so. work in English that way, but it does work in Japanese. So, suppose we, we don't know anything about those grammar points from context still, we should still understand that koto referring to something previously. Yeah. Said. And in this case is we need to go to the city to buy some food. Yeah. This, the idea and is that you're kind of thinking why. about that the context totally of the conversation. Yeah. Hi, hi. Toyu Toyu Koto is a grammar point that explain, give an explanation or a description of something. Yeah. That was the, previously. Yeah. That um, that's basically what it means. It could be specified. It doesn't. Um. For example, we had it specified earlier. If I go over here to um, this section with our 20,000 tool use. We had kaze no koto. I mean, there's not to or doyu koto, right? We've got some kotos in here saying about this. So in the general, this koto is actually the same koto we saw earlier, which is referring to what do you mean by your previous sentence, which was kaze kurai hita koto ga aru. So he's like, what do you mean by this sentence, right? So that does actually match, do you? 
what is the meaning of that sentence? And kaze no koto is just saying about the wind, just generalizing the word wind. Um, generalizing the wind, gener generalizing the previous sentence, height. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I went too far. Okay. Right, here we are. We just read that Oof. one. Well, okay, so naruhodo. You translated naruhodo correctly, but you added in an extra word, which was ya. Yeah. <laughs> naruhodo ne. Uh, ne does have a little bit of a ne, like right kind of feeling to it, but this sentence is not. Naruhodo ne. It's more like, um, so this ne, right? When people say that. It's just like a that uh, that makes sense, yeah, yeah, kind of thing. But um, not a whole net. He's just saying, "Oh, I get it now. I see, I see." That's uh, not a whole bolt. And K, you translated as a palace. I just want you know, nobody does not live in a castle. As far as I know, the word palace is the same as castle. What does nobody live in? A mansions. Oh, so he lives in a mansion. Perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Hi. Um, unajuite sam samuisa ni furue na gara dai dokoro no danro no mae ni modotta ga. Karada o atatameru hima wa nakata. Unazuite, I nodded. Samusa ni frue nagara while I was shaking from the cold. Dai, dokoro no danro no mae ni modotta ga. I return. At the front of the fireplace of the kitchen. But Karada o atatameru Hima wa nakata. I did not have the time to warm up my body. Perfect. Benet. Uh, Benetto wa ato yu ma ni. Benetto wa ato iu. Ah, no, no, no. Benetto wa a to yu ma ni. De kakeru chunbi o orie ore o su rete. Ikai ni. Ori atsude no koto o haoru to doka o toshita saifu himo o poketto ni tsukonde hatte shupatsu shita. Perfect. Can you read um, this so, kanji for me again? I'm suspicious of you. Mm. Orie? Orie? No. What if there was a wa rather than an e there? How would you read that? Owa? Yeah, owaru. So where did you get the d from? To finish? It does mean to finish. Come Owaru to is to come to an end. O oeru is to finish oh, something. The re... Oh, oh, oe. Oe right. is come to an end. Finish. Take, it takes an all act. It takes an all object. So yes, that's how it's it is different than Owaru. So, so here. Hi. This is accusative verb. Um, so here it say that the subject here, Benetto wa a to you ma ni in the time to say a, meaning in the blink of an in the blink of an eye, de ka keru, 
Junbio, the preparation to leave, he finished it. He's Perfect. done with the preparation to leave in a blink. Oreo sit at that. He texts me. Nikai need. Ori down to the first floor. I see that no call to oh a thick coat. Haoruto he worn. Puts on and he puts on. Doka o toshita saifu. Himo. Himo o poketto ni tsukonde. He shoved into his pocket a string, um, a string wallet that had been put through the coins. Or threaded through the coin. Then he departs. Shupatsushita. Right. Perfect. Or, and he departs. Yep. Shupatsu. Let's go. Um, let's go read the bold part. All right. Um, doa o. Akeru. Good guess. It is not to open a door. Because akeru is to open. Akeru. He, um, he pushes it. No, he didn't. He didn't push it. That's he... a good guess too. It means to go through. To go through a door. Does it go through a door? How do you say that? Go through the door. Real quickly, Mani. That kanji tripped me. It does. It had a, it had a tet. It had a small hand, basically. Mm. It's one of its components. That's why it I thought it had something to do with the hand. That is interesting. In fact, I wonder why even... it has a hand. It's I think it also has kaisu, right? To return. Oh, it's even more trippy than that. It has three hands. It had a hand, oh, and then the top component is also a hand, and then the one on the right and to the lower right of it is also a hand. It's Thank all three goodness. of them. Too many hands. Yeah, it never really has anything to do with hands. It always <laughs> means to leave slash go out of. Always oh, kake. kakeru? No. It's a new. Nukeru. 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 It means to leave. Nukeru. Yep. To leave, to go out, to go through. I normally just translate it as to go through, but specifically it means to go out of. Um, Hi. But go through makes more sense. Like to go out of the door I was aiming for does make sense. So could use that. Nukeru. But yeah, Nukeru is a hard kanji for you. Um, this is the same kanji we just saw. Can you read it for me? Uh, it is nukari. Perfect. So weirdly enough, this means like oversight. Nukari. It's like your whatever went through something that it shouldn't have, right? Like the see through something, but not like the see through it, like you got it, but like the see through, like it's not there, right? O oversight <laughs> money, like to to missing some information. Yes. Okay, to to skip some information to miss it yes just yep to skip you it get you it. miss it you get it um or a blunder um, blunder to blunder well it's a noun blunder because it's me well, let's go read this example wow. sentence I, I just looked up the dictionary real quick and that kanji for nuku or nukeru, it had right. a lot to do with to pull out, to draw out, extraction, unplug, vomit, leave out, without. It had the notion that this hand doesn't refer to the person. It refers to some invisible hand that pulls the person out of the house or out of the door, some third entity, some 
someone other than the speaker. That's that's what that kanji seems to connotate. Um, anyhow, this reading is uh, kore wa nukari da, uh, which is um, I I left here. Oh, interesting. I, I, what does I, I kore mean? Place. Kore is this. It I is this. this. Now we got nukari ending with a. D. Ah, no, no. I, that makes I it into it. stem form. I, I overlooked this. Yes, I, I overlooked this. this. I, I overlook it. Nice. Can you read this word for me? Uh, I omit. I omit basically. Okay. Uh, ore ore tachi ga tori nukeru. Perfect. What does that mean? That mean that. Tori is to go through, Hi. and Nukeru is to leave. So we left the place. We went through it, and then we left it Perfect. entirely. Yep, we passed through. You know what kangai kata means? Kangai kata, ways of thinking. Perfect. Modes Can you read of thought. sentence for me? Um, kare no kangai kata ni wa. Nukari ga aru. There is a nukari ga. Okay, so we have omitted kare. Kare is him, isn't it, Mani? Yeah, it's him. He. His. Third person pronoun. His way of thought yeah. was omitted. Hmm, you're thinking about the verb nuku, which we haven't really seen here. Nuku does have the same kanji. This means to omit. We have not learned the word omit, and it's not in your vocab list for this novel we're reading. Uh, this is, he, he misses it. Hi, he, he misses. There is a blunder in his thought process. Oh, there is a, exactly. If I give you a definition, there's probably a reason. <laughs> it's probably relevant to the, the book rather than because many words have lots of definitions um we, do, we don't need to know every single one of them um do you know what do yatta means I, do yatta do yatte, what to do yatta. yeah what to do perfect um do what so, how was done anything like that perfect how so let's go read this sentence Nobody got inai no ni. Um, ma ho no mon o do yatte tori nukeru no ka to omotte itta ga nukari wa nakata. Right, so here it say, nobody got e nai. This this e nai is the negative form of iru. Is that right, Moni? That is correct. So it's a negative statement. It say that since nobody is not here, no ni. Oh no 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 no. This is not sense. This is the opposite of sense. This is right. despite. Despite nobody not being here. Um Maho no mon o doi do yate tori nukeru no ka. How are we to how in what way are we to go through the magical door? Or I referring to himself, I'm guessing. Probably we, because um, Benet's here as well, but it could be I. Hi. And he said, to mote ita ga. He thought he was thinking this at the time, right. but nukari wa na nakata. I missed something. I overlooked something. Did he? Interesting. I I did not overlook. It was nakata. not a blunder. I did not overlook. 
Even though nobody was not here, it was not a blunder. So if you remember, Even though it's nobody been a was... bit, but in the previous chapter, the characters on the way to Yasuragite, they had to go through multiple mons. And to get through these mons, Nebudi would take out his mado saki and take say a jumon and then it'd go pew 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 and then the mon would open and they could go through it. So even though nobody's not here, how are they going to get through the magical gates? I was thinking this, being like, oh no, how are we going to get to the magical gates? We don't have magic with us. However, this was not a mistake. Nobody did not over nobody did not be like oopsie daisies i forgot my gates were magically locked whoops you know that's not what happened does that make sense hi nukari one nukari one night basically it is not a mistake yes it's not it a, wasn't a mistake nobody was we say this his... exactly the same in english right i had thought that hi. How on earth were we going to be getting to the magical date, even though nobody's not here? But it wasn't a, or he did not, like a mistake. It sounds weird. The oversight was better. It was not a over, but it sounds weird now to me. But it's like, it's when you overlook something, like something that's on your like agenda. And you're like, whoops, I didn't notice that. An oversight. Isn't it? Um, do you know how to read this kanji? No, no, uh, no, no. No, no, hi. What does no, no mean? A, um, a piece of silk. Any kind of cloth. Doesn't Either have silk, to be silk or cloth. Um, Any kind of cloth. Hi. Um, silk is um, kinu. Yeah, kinu is silk, which is this kanji, but I never made you learn this kanji because why would you need to know what silk is? Not common. But yeah, kinu. You know. Well, so, it, it came up on one of the chapters. It did, it did. Um, right, like, you shouldn't it, clean this black crystal with anything other than silk. Something exactly. Like that. that was a sentence. But cloth is a much more common uh, vocab word, so that'd be a word I'd make you learn the reading of it. Well, silk, silk is a less common vocab word, so I would normally not make you learn the reading of it unless it shows up, like, multiple times. In which case, the silk only showed up one time in that one mm -hmm. sentence where it was just like, you better not wipe it with anything so other than silk. <coughs> Hi. Bless you. Thank you. Bless you, Mom. <laughs> cool. Water time. <laughs> yeah. Water I talk time. too much when I teach. I don't your, talk any other times. Uh, what is it? It's, it's your... <laughs> mizu, mizu o hitsuyo da. Water is necessary. Todo ga kawaita. So here, the passive form of the verb kurumaru. Kurumaru. Kuru, come, to come. Good guess. Maru is... Why is that in a flaw in your stay at breakfasts? Why can this not be kudu grammatically? There is a grammar rule why it is impossible for this to be kudu. My hint is there's something wrong um, with this rudu. Oh, I'm sorry. If it is a root, then it would have ended a clause. Exactly. Right. And rudu ends a clause because it's a dictionary form. It so ended... it can't be kudu. Hi. That would make no it sense. It. <laughs> if it continues, if it continues, then it must be part of this larger. Yep. Um, so the kanji for kurumaru, we've seen it before. It's just not in this book. I mean, it's in the book, but it has a different reading. Kurumaru looks like this. Kurumaru. <laughs> to wrap up. Hi. Or to be wrapped. It's basically to wrap oneself up. And now it is to be wrapped up, like passive. Hi, passive, to be. Oh, so now we're going to put it in the passive form. So it's kuru maeru. Mm. No, 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 I'm sorry. This is an, this is an u verb. They conjugate the same in this case. Kuru. 
Kurumareru. Perfect. Kurumareru. Perfect. 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 Um, let's go read the line from the book. Mon no to koro de Benetto ga pocketo kara Nuno ni kuru mareta Kuru mareta Tisana sekio orida si Tanoda Torida si Tanoda Tisana sekio torida si Tanoda so you see right here, this is the same note we just talked about earlier, right? That's the exact same right. note. It's saying this right here, it turns it into a statement, right? But it's it's saying this is a logical explanation, basically, for the previous line, which was um, nukari wa nakata. It was not a oversight. Why was this not an oversight? He explained here with the no da. He gives an explanation here. So right. here he's saying that mon no tokoro de at the place of the gate. Benetto pocket to kara nu no ni puramareta chisana seki o. Tori dashta toru and then followed by dashita. He took out, Benet took out a small rock that was wrapped with, um, or it was wrapped in a piece of cloth from out of his pocket. He pulls out from his pocket this Perfect. rock that was wrapped in a cloth. So this um, rock is going to be used for something. Um, what's the first part of bodyguard, Red S? Yo. Perfect. Yo, from Yo Jimbo. Yep, and it means use. Can you read this word for me? Kagi. Kagi from Ki. Hi. And then Sen Yo. Yep. Sen, um, kagi Sen Yo. Uh, sen Yo means exclusive use. So it's an exclusive use use key key for just use for key. Um, so it Why starts is with, that the same for the sen character in the middle? Is, is that, that the same kanji for like a PhD, like a doctor? Yes, for your major. I'm not sure about what doctor like it, it is. is, but it is the sen same sen and sen mon, I think. Sen mon. Maybe not that kind. I feel like that's what major was. I don't know. It was really boring that chapter in Genki. Um, <laughs> Kagi and specialty, right? It just means specialty. <laughs> it does mean specialty. Like particular... That is the meaning of that kanji. Right. Which is use. So, and this is key. Specialty use key. Key right. specialty use as a key. Kagi sen yo is the key for special use. Perfect. So otoru is to be inferior to. Otoru, to be less good. Otoru. It is a u verb, so it's r plus u. Um, I'm actually going to be right back. I just noticed that there's a dog barking outside my window, so I'll be right back. Hi. I'm back. I just gotta get my headphones in. Uh, there's a dog that I'm babysitting that likes to escape, and then it gets stuck outside and goes, "Hey, how the door kills behind me?" So it's like, "Oh, did you get it come back in?" Yeah, it came right back in. It was saying, "Hey, you That's forgot good. me," but he's the one that went out. He, he, he got out. He should be able to get back in. 
Um, but he's, he's forgetful. Like he he knew 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 Kari or something. Knew, knew <laughs> he's like this is a blunder. To <laughs> hi hi hi. Okay. Um, so what's the term of otoru to be inferior to? Inferior. To be inferior to is ototte. Perfect. Ototte. Nice. Let's go read this sentence. Mm, um, apprentice. So it's um, deshi deshi yori majutsu majutsu shi no hoga marioku ga otoru. So the magic power. It's inferior to that of the apprentice. No, 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 I'm sorry. I got it flipped. The apprentice magic power is inferior to that of the magician. That'd be the logical conclusion, but it should be saying to be inferior. So the magician is more inferior. So in other words, the oh. apprentice has more magic, but the logical assumption would be exactly what you said. Um, oh my let's goodness. see. Um, it's, it's yori, but it's yori with a verb that means less. I know, right? So it's very <laughs> confusing. So in other words, the apprentice <laughs> is less, less inferior. Um, the madyoku here, I probably less did inferior. this wrong. It should be like uh no madyoku yori or majutsushi no madyoku no holdera that should be thrown into like one of these um sections uh there shouldn't be two gods there <laughs> um but anyway as a question could you turn this into a relative clause for me uh so in the relative clause it would be that Right, so oh, yeah. I'm just making you do this because I thought this was a hard uh, relative. So the clause. relative clause <laughs> is, the, is the one that end with the subject, right, Mani? And you can do that if you want to modify the subject. Of this. The a relative clause means you are describing so a sub... noun. That's the only meaning it has, and all you have to do is take out a nog. Oh, that goes in the wrong place. This is just now it's grammar grammarly correct. <laughs> um, I could move this Madioku to over there. It doesn't matter. Oh. Um, but anyway, a relative clause. All that means is that you're describing a noun with a noun. The head. That's what this is called. The head. The noun you're describing is a random noun from the original sentence. So it's not an adjective. And it is not a um, verb. You can only take out a noun from the section and then modify that noun. So you take the noun out of here, put it over there, it's a head. It doesn't have to be the subject, it doesn't have to be the object, and it doesn't have to be the location. But it could be the, the subject, object, or location of the item. So here, suppose I want to make a relative clause out of ma, rio, ma, uh, ma rio kuku, right? You could Magic do that power. if you want to. Yep. Okay. How would we go about this? So we would, we would say that deshi yori, majutsu shi. Oh my goodness. Ho ga to otoru marioku? Yes. But should anything go between majitsu and ho? Deshi yori majutsu shi. Ma jutsu shi no ho ga. Because so, ho is a noun. Um, perfect. So this right here, this means we're, we're describing magic that is more inferior for the magician, but the apprentice happens to have more, is blah, 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 blah. 
but you could do this with any of the nouns. You could have said, um, deshi yori, um, ma jitsushi, sorry, ma ryoku, ma ryoku no hoga ma jitsushi. You could, you could do this. This is still grammatically correct, which is the wizard that um, ha is less good with magic power than the apprentice. Or of course, we could have went ma jutsu shi no ma ryoku no ho ga. Why is it keep doing that? You know, ma ryoku no ho ga totoru deshi. You could also say this because everything is insinuated by the particles we are using, which um, is saying the apprentice that um, the magician's magic power is more pathetic than, right? So all of these are grammatically correct. And all it just is, is that you look at the context, you say, okay, this is marked by yori, this is marked by ho, then you kind of have a idea for stuff. Um, also, whole can be dropped from things, right? That's another thing that can be dropped. If yori is there, then you can just have whole. And versus wise, you could just have whole and drop yori and use like a different particle for yori. But normally, um, whole is dropped. Yori is not commonly dropped. Like it can be dropped, but that'd be harder to do. So yeah, you can take any noun put it at the head of the phrase and whole can be dropped. So now that you have that in your head, we'll be seeing a sentence similar to that. Um, Iyuryoku is a word I swear we saw, but I couldn't find it with a quick Google. So um, Iyuryoku means power, might and power, Iyuryoku. So let's go read this line from might the book. Power. <laughs> this might be our last line of the day, unless there's are Mighty else. power. Mighty power, Iyuryoku. I Iryoku. So here it's Baneto wa ma jutsu shi janai no de kama kono seki wa maseki mado seki. I'm so sorry, it's not kono seki, it's kono kono's uh, ishi. It's ishi when it's alone. The singular reading for rock. Right, Mani? I, yep. It's Ishii, correct? Yep. Kono Ishii wa ma, madoseki janai. Tabu madoseki yori wa iryoku no toru o toru kagi senyo no seki daro. Perfect. So here, so what is this no doing first here one. first? What's this no? No toru. He it's it's a it's a um it's a possessive type of no. Mm, he, he's saying that the, the special the special use key. So is this right less here is a pronoun. This, this is a relative clause. That's my um that's my hint. Oh the no from a relative clause. Is that what you meant, Mom? Yes. This one right no here is, is a relative. Ga. Oh, no. That's God right there. If it there. wasn't a relative clause, it would have been a God. Yes, because grammatically, no cannot connect to verbs. The no you see down here, right? Kagisen yo no ishi. There cannot be a verb after that. That's not grammatically correct. Unless it's a relative clause, because in that case, that's not no. That is ga in a no um, Halloween costume. Um, and right here we have no de, which is de from da, and then we have that no we've been talking about today, no, totally. which is turning this into a statement, being kind of cuz ish. The special use rock that is the key. The rock that is that is specific used as a key Hi. is less mighty. This is is a less 
mighty than that of a magical stone. And he's saying tabu in that all. So he said it must probably. Yeah. It must probably be the case. So he's making a, a, a subjective. Yeah, because Beneto wa magic right? Right. Beneto wa magic it means that he had no magical ability. Therefore, Janai no de, therefore, Konoseki wa Madoseki Janai. It must also mean that this stone is not a magical stone. Yep, since Bennett is not a magician, this must this stone must not be a magical stone. A magical guiding stone. Let me see. I um con what is this word? Uh what is this word? Uh is nukari. Hi. What does it mean? It's to blunder. It's nu. Perfect. Kari. How about this word? To omit. This is no nu, a cloth. Oh no, I'm sorry, Close. it's nu no. Hi. Nu no. Perfect. And um, what is this no right here? Which no? We have three oh. types of no's on this page. That no is a is a relative clause no. Okay. It it actually ends a a clause there technically because it 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 had a otoru at the that comes after it. Um, it's it's letting you know this is replacing ga. Um, the reason you don't have to replace ga with no, but this is normally used so that's for readability issues. So every single ga in a relative clause can turn into no, but it tends to turn into no when the main sentence does not have the same like subject, and they want to make it clearer that um this the, this is not. Like this is part of the relative clause. They want to make it like very clear that that is true. That's when you would turn God to no. But anytime it's no, you can replace it with God. Anytime it's God, you can replace it with no. It is the same. It just makes it clearer. Um, what is this no? That no is a uh, possessive no. Perfect. That is and how the about... gate of magic. Yep, yeah, the gate of magic. Magic gate. That's the no that comes at the end of a clause that had the connotation of an explanation right. perfect. of a soft kind. Yep, a nice soft explanation. So perfect. Those are the no's. And that's where we're going to drop for today. Any questions?